there, by that time, uh, my, my, I had a very good friend, Walt Farmer. He passed away. He was 36 years of age when he died. He was OPP, a policeman, out of Newmarket. But anyway, when we were young guys, uh, uh, spending money was awfully tough to get. So we trapped. November, the trapping season started. He was a year and a half, a year and three quarters older than me. So he could get a trapper's license. He was barely 16, he had a trapper's license. And I was 14. So we trapped. What are we trapped? Well, in November, December, January, we were trapping skunks, mink, raccoon. And then in uh, March, muskrats along with all that down there. And we'd make five, six, seven hundred each. When you get a trapper's license, the fur buyers, they see who's got a license, where does he live? So they come calling. So on our farm down there in the back of there, there was a we never used it, but when we bought the Rivet Estate, there was a building, the boilers in the basement, and then there was a greenhouse attached to the building, a greenhouse. So we used that building down there for doing all our wall at night, and that's where we skinned all the animals, and in the greenhouse we hung up all these, all our furs. You turn the pelt inside out so that the, uh, the cut part is on the outside, the fur is on the inside and stretched over a stretcher. And then we, uh, and we, uh, we trapped the Niagara River from just a little bit south, of the, upstream from Niagara and the lake all the way up to Queenston. For mink, we got $300 for one pelt. Just one. We did about six or seven, not that big, smaller ones, but we did a hundred and eighty dollars, two hundred dollars for the smaller ones. Yeah. My dad would buy twelve dozen hundred and forty four traps. He, my dad financed Walt and me with the traps. Had the Walt had the trapping license. And we used my dad's car to chase uh, all our traps that we had all over the country set. So every now and then, in a mink setting, you have, see, mink is a mink is very powerful animal. You, the trap catches it by one leg, it'll pull out. So you have to have a mink setting with a dead rabbit, a couple of dead squirrels, a chunk of rotten meat, so the mink, he'd smell that, he's going to come to it to check it out. So we have a trap here, here, there, and there. He'd tie it off. He stepped in this trap sideways. Whoop! Now his other leg got into the trap, and before you know, he's got all four legs in traps. No, he can't get nowhere. He, he was not going to get away, you see. Yeah. So every once in a while, the skunk would come in there. And the skunk is in the trap instead of the mink. So uh, we killed a skunk, put it into a potato bag, which is burlap, rough, rough material, burlap bag, you know, throw the animals in there. We, we had the burlap bag to throw the mink in, but we threw the skunk in a, in a separate bag, but also the same kind. Now we bring this bag and we put it into the trunk of my dad's car. Well, my dad says to me, boys, he says, I drove with my car to the office, I could hardly breathe. I think that I cannot give you my car anymore for your business. You better buy your own. You find a good car and I'll pay half. <laughs> Yeah.